hello welcome back to my channel today we are making delicious nigerian style patty fried rice so grab a glass of wine a glass of juice water whatever you're into and then settle down to watch this video i will be sharing tips that make my fried rice so delicious and that make it last all day even the day after without spoiling I'd like you to click the subscribe button so that you can get access to all my recipes and please click the like button if you want more videos like this. For this delicious fried rice, we'll be using runner beans, green beans, this is what it looks like. I'm also using fresh peas, this is what it looks like fresh i'm going to open it to reveal the little piece and i enjoy doing this it is so therapeutic just look how pretty and green it looks it's going to make our fried rice very very delicious it adds a beautiful layer of flavor so we have some carrots i've already washed and scraped these carrots so you can see they are looking clean like they use primer and then we have our prawn shrimp we're going to add it to this fried rice I have here ginger and garlic because it cannot be fried rice without these things and then I have some spring onions oh my goodness I love spring onions I love using it especially towards the end of the meal I mean somewhere in the beginning Sha. and then we have onions that have been sliced and prepped and we have liver see I do not like cooking my fried rice without liver this is very important ingredient okay so we'll be boiling that. I have some green and red bell pepper to add color and see the flavor of green pepper in fried rice you will discover today. And then we have one carton of turkey. Did you know it was 30 pieces of turkey wings in a carton? Mm -hmm. That is what is here and that is what I'm cooking today. For seasoning, I have thyme, chicken stock powder, curry powder, white pepper, salt and paprika. I'm going to put all of this in the turkey so that it marinates properly and then we're going to add some ginger and garlic. I've already chopped this, you can blend it in. Try to make sure that most of the ingredients you're using for your fried rice, they are fresh, like instead of powdered ginger, use fresh ginger. Instead of powdered garlic, use fresh garlic. Now I'm just adding some water and we're going to allow this to boil. Make sure you mix everything so that it is properly combined and you need the water to be not too much but enough to cover the turkey so that every turkey wing cooks. One of my cooking specialties is fried rice, which is why I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. I've been cooking fried rice since I was a little girl, okay? <laughs> and if you can guess what song I'm dancing to here, I would like to see it in the comment section. Playing music when you're cooking just makes everything go by fast and it does not make you think it is work. So now our turkey has been cooked and as you can see it is actually cool because I allowed it to marinate in the juice for a few hours so that it is more tasty. If you are cooking for a party what I like to do is cook the turkey or the chicken the day before so that it can marinate in its own juice and then the next day we use the stock. But if you are cooking immediately you can do the turkey in the morning and then in the afternoon you use it to cook. The next step is going to be, you know, putting this rice on fire. This rice is already washed, so that's why it's sticking together and I'm just trying to scatter it and then I'm pouring it in the stock first. So I don't put water first, I put the rice first so that I can see the amount of water that I need to add because sometimes you add too much water and then your rice will become soggy or then you feel like you need to remove some of the water. So I use the stock first, I mix everything, I'm using a wooden spatula this time and just mix everything together before you add your liquids. Make sure you add all your normal liquids before you add like water. So I have peas and these peas take time to cook so I'm putting it initially 
in this rice it's going to give it like i said flavor and it's going to cook properly with the rice i have green bell pepper and um, the spring onions and green atarodo i blended everything together and i'm pouring it in the rice when people are like seasoning me your rice tastes different from other kinds of fried rice it's because of this because <laughs> i've blended my mixture and you guys know green bell pepper gives such a beautiful flavor to like fried rice and some other dishes and that is what i always like and not just that it gives a beautiful color the color i have in the fried rice is from the curry that i use in the stock i use curry powder in the stock and now adding this green mix is going to give it a beautiful like yellow greenish color that i love so much for me i feel like that's my perfect nigerian fried rice color now do not put too much water because you need just enough water to cook it till it is almost done so make sure this rice is still a bit hard it will cook when it is off the cooker so don't let it be soggy this is one of the steps to make sure your rice does not become soggy or spoil quickly it will still cook further in the pot and then when we pan fry it later so I'm using this my big fry pan which I love so much a lot of people have asked me questions about it it's actually for my mom all of these tools are for my mom and she doesn't use them so I took over <laughs> so now another step for extra flavor is adding your onion in the oil it is going to give such a beautiful aroma and then it is going to flavor the chicken or the turkey that you are frying so i always like to do this step i know onions is expensive right now but do not skip this step we're trying to make delicious patty fried rice here while i was frying the turkey i noticed something there was one turkey that did not get properly fried so when i was taking all of them out it was still there and in my mind i felt the turkey was talking to me like are you just going to take me out undone and uncooked and i was like no i'm not i'm going to let you fry properly so i took all the other turkey wings out and i left that one alone to properly fry and while i was doing that i just felt something in my mind telling me if you feel like you've been kind of left behind or you're not properly cooked or you're not where you're supposed to be don't worry god is going to sort you out even if you are the only turkey piece in the oil God is going to make sure you are properly fried and golden before he takes you out and that was what came to my mind while I was frying this turkey I feel like sometimes I get a lot of inspiration when I'm just doing my everyday life now that I'm done frying the turkey I've reduced the oil in the pan and I have just a little so I'm adding my prawns and I'm doing that first because I'm going to take it out you don't want the prawns to overcook and you want to do it at this moment the first thing so that the prawn will add its flavor to the oil and I just made sure I fried it till all the juices that the prawn has released dried up so that's what you're going to do and that doesn't take up to five minutes once the prawns are cooked and everywhere is fragrant you have to take it out and put it in a bowl aside for the assembly of the fried rice this is cow liver and now we're going to transfer it into the oil and then just stir fry it you do that till it is properly cooked please do not give boiled liver to people inside fried rice I've eaten all sorts of fried rice in this my life I beg don't do it now that that one is frying i'm adding onions and if you're someone that cooks a lot you know that this combination is bad <laughs> when i mean bad i mean it's good <laughs> it's fantastic that's what i mean by bad so you just mix everything together and then we put our runner beans green beans properly and just stir fry so now it's like fast 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 everything is going so fast and especially because i'm cooking outdoors and the flames are really big everything cooks in like 10 minutes so you have to make sure you've already prepped all your ingredients and you've put them on the side and they are ready to go i cut all of this myself 
and I just want to let you know this is also one of my specialties. <laughs> so we have carrots now and we're just going to put it inside. Something that annoys me greatly is seeing fried rice with different shapes of cutting. Like let's say you see your carrot is like triangle and there's no uniformity at all in the way the vegetables are cut. It really annoys me. So tell me one of your pet peeves when it comes to fried rice. This is our red bell pepper. I'm adding it here also for, as always, flavor and for color. So this rice is going to be very colorful. I have sweet corn here, so I'm just going to add that and again, mix, 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 mix. It's always good to season your vegetables so I'm adding a bit of salt to this and I'm also adding some chicken stock powder. Mix, mix, mix so that it doesn't burn now i've just added our fried shrimp and the spring onions and they are adding like more color and more deliciousness to this fried rice now it is time to bring in our special guest of today the rice <laughs> in my previous video i showed you the type of rice i use so if you want to know check out my jollof rice video that is my patty jollof rice video i like this rice because it doesn't get soggy well if you cook it too much it will get soggy there's no rice that won't get soggy if you overcook but it doesn't really get soggy if you cook it properly and i just like it so i'm adding the rice that we've had there as you can see it's been in the pot and it is properly done now so your rice is not going to be mushy you are going to do a lot of stir frying and that's why you don't want it to be too soft so i'm just fry fry frying this point is the point that will define if your rice will spoil or not what do they call this rice it is called fried rice not roasted rice not boiled rice not steamed rice it's fried rice so you need to fry it so that it doesn't spoil fry this for at least five minutes I know there are some people that just put their vegetable and put it in the pot of rice and just mix everything together and then it's fried rice. Your rice will spoil and the flavor you get at the end of the day is not going to be as delicious. It might be good but mm, you need to taste this to say yummy fried rice. So do it like this, make sure it is properly fried and then you are good to go. My mom used to be a caterer back in the day. The truth is she used to do so many things and catering was part of it and I was the chef, chef <laughs> for fried rice. I used to cut all the veggies and make all the fried rice for the parties that she used to serve. So these are my credentials for fried rice. As you can see, the color of our fried rice is popping. It is delicious. It is fantabulous, fanimorous, any other delicious name you want to call it. If you like this recipe, please let me know by clicking the like button and by subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.